the sleeve mean? I straight up press him, something like a steam clean. Yo, we the dream team. Check out the slam like you was mean gene. Bodies on the set, I leave the scene clean. Nowadays, they took hate and they made it cool. I play it cool like Dame Dash and paid in full. Yeah, talk major pool, but couldn't swallow a plate full. A fool for thought, so flavorful. Arkansas, wicked in the city. Kiki never loved me, she busy doing the shiggy. I leave him dizzy, you probably thought I slid him a Mickey. Following my footsteps, Mike Tayo Achilles, silly. A million watts on the drop, what I'm putting out. Veteran stamp, you living off your rookie clout. Talk money on the wood, good looking now. The flow like a sniper shot, took your woofers out. We are back with episode 69 of Ammo Wrestling coming to the ring first. He is Siempre Fresca Sebastian Ramos. His opponent here tonight, he is one half of the grind. He is the man, Chandler Fitch. getting underway starting off both men relatively respectful to each other they've met before in the past I believe or at least their tag team equivalents have when it comes to the grind and subway so they have sort of been part of the standard bear to kind of build this tag team division around both teams not in tag Team contention as of late for different reasons. Chandler Finch and Leon Stark both focusing a little more on their single side as Leon Stark is still the junior heavyweight champion and the subway has well basically disbanded. You heard Sebastian Ramos coming out to King of the Beach that lone remnant of what has now become forgotten amongst the other members. But right now, Sebastian Ramos trying to put his head down and prepare for this Saturday as he will be in a triple threat match against his two former tag team partners. what is sure to be wrenching to some degree to say the least on the other side Chandler Finch not necessarily booked in a one-on-one -on -one match on the card might be making an appearance in one way or another his tag partner Leon Stark is set to defend his junior heavyweight title against Christopher Garcia 
and what is going to be a really fun match there too as two men sharing similar styles. But as this match unravels, we see Chandler Finch taking control of the matchup and might be getting him up for that man down powerbomb. Picking up the two count, but still going to have to keep pressing forward, but now might be looking for just man down getting a double underhook and connecting right to the face of Sebastian Ramos and one two and no Sebastian Ramos kicking out as right now Chandler Finch staying very flexible when it comes to say the least to his offensive game plan but right now that might just be changing. Sebastian going up top rope for that splash, but the knees were up. It's not how you want to fall. As both men somewhat getting back to square one in a level of momentum. But Sebastian Remo still trying to press on, going up top rope for another time. Calling him up onto his feet. What's he looking for here? Jumping into a drop kick. Able to connect. Flush into the stunner. Now calling him back up on his feet now. As Sebastian Ramos looking for Lemon. Fresca. And it connects. Is that going to be enough? To keep Chandler Finch down and no. Just a two count as this match continues forward. But right now, Sebastian Ramos. Trying to hold down what he has sort of established now both career-wise and in the matchup, career-wise, talking about, you know, he, he created Subway, trying to hold down this sort of legacy that he is looking to leave, this impact, this imprint onto other people trying to hold on to that despite what's going on in his friend group with Luke Franklin and Arthur Finch as they've been as Sebastian's just trying to be the peacekeeper in all of that and that being able to keep the peace is what's going to be so volatile I think for his career moving forward and how a lot of people perceive Sebastian Ramos but in this matchup now, both men back inside the ring. Chandler Finch sending him over into the corner. The man having, talking retrospectively about Ramos and doing the same now for Finch. Chandler Finch came in cocky as ever. But has now sort of embraced this opportunity. Is now locking in that Kimura. Him and Leon Stark have really sort of made that name for themselves in that tag team division, holding the tag team goal. But now Chandler Finch with man down once again for a second time. Two. And oh, Sebastian Ramos just barely getting that shoulder up as this matchup has to be coming to an end soon. You can only take so much. And with so much on the line for both men going forward, you have to think about when's the ideal time to stay down as we see another man down spiking off Sebastian Ramos once again too. And still, 
finding that way to kick out. Then now Chandler Finch bulldozing through Sebastian Ramos. It's a very dangerous time to be on the receiving end as he gets him up for that power bomb once again. A power bomb always so vicious. Turning him over, Sebastian Ramos has been well at kicking out, reserving some energy as he continues to do so. But how much longer is he going to be able to keep up this pace and to stay in this matchup despite what is now a fourth man down? As he drops him straight on his head, dragging him away from the ropes. One, two, three. Chandler Finch picking up a much needed victory. Whether he has a match or not, he will be in the corner of his tag team partner when that matchup comes this Saturday at Polish Cow. As he celebrates, we get ready for our second matchup of the evening. following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall coming to the ring first accompanied by Donovan McNeil he is Dante Ashford And his tag team partner He is Joshua Lockhart Opponents 
is the tag team of Alex Hero and Bryce Canyon. They are the race. This matchup now underway. And right off the back, Dante taking a big bump. As you can tell, the race look to play no games as this matchup starts out. But Dante Ashford trying to get back in it. What's interesting is sort of how this matchup has unfolded, or how these next two matches really have unfolded. Because it's not solely about the two the teams in this matchup, but it, another very constant is the squad and their ability. and how they have sort of been involved in these matchups as right now you see Dante who has joined up with Donovan McNeil but last week I believe it was last, last week fought Trey Baker from the squad and ended up coming up short before Joshua Lockhart his tag partner here tonight joined him at his side. Once, you know, we have sort of this collection, this collective of people just determined to hold down this idea of pure wrestling. And on the other side, you have The race and Bryce Canyon and Alex Hero, who are just two guys who focus so heavily on ingenuity, innovation, and agility, just all together. That I think we're about to see some really interesting dynamics, sort of, as this match continues on. This match is for no more contendership, but that big knee for the Pit Cruise Tag Team title. So it could be a very big win right off the bat for Joshua Lockhart and Dante Ashford as they put a pin in the race for the time being. The, the race, of course, having previous tag team title opportunities, not being able to fully capitalize on them as much as they, I'm sure they would like to as they've never held the titles but despite their best of efforts most of those attempts not actually know all of those attempts coming against the squad as well as they remain ever so present in this tag team division the following match though will be a three-way pure matchup between one third oh and as joshua lockhart Getting, wrenching in that lock, heart, heart lock. But going back to the Nets matchup, big, saucy, 
Big Ounce and Richard Corvo all involved. And that pure title is something that I know all of the men in this sort of collective, again, I don't really have a name written down. They've just sort of accumulated on their, on their own. But right now, if we get fully back into the action here, we we'll see Bryce Canyon tagging in with Joshua Lockhart. Back up on his feet. Irish whip into the corner to Dante Ashford. But now tag team maneuver here. A time to drop into the big boot. What an absolute kick straight to the face of Bryce Keenan as now Dante sending him back over into the corner. And now grabbing at the arm, trying to make the smaller of the two tap out. Bryce's size is a big part of his game. I believe he might have been a former gymnast. Looking to take the action to the outside. With that sunset flip powerbomb to the outside. But now Dante Ashford maneuvering around. Doing it for Sting on the outside. And now... You can see Donovan McNeil just looking on. Rough up to a count of five. Of course, you have two of 20 counts on the outside here. But if I'm... If I'm either man, honestly, trying to get this match inside the ring and pick up the win and go to the back and work on recovery over, you know, trying to put on... Trying to taunt your opponent, trying to put on whatever sort of flashy maneuvers you're trying to show off here as you can see Bryce trying to show his technical side but not before tagging in Alex Hero and Wally at Barry connection as that could possibly put the, an end to this matchup here in the absolute chaos. As now Alex Hero kick to the midsection, getting Dante up on to his shoulders. Yosaka Street spinning cutter two, but no. Stomping in on the arm. And a big punch from Dante. Getting him up. And calling him back up on his feet. But no. Alex Hero gets out of the way. Tries to taunt instead. Dante Ashford taking a moment to just kick the absolute lights out. Following through Dragon Suplex, as you can see Joshua Lockhart now. Getting back up into the land of the living. But now Dante still just aggressive as always. And the big kick. Taking him up and down once again. Our Alex Hero, big elbow into the revolution knee strike. 
right at the jaw. One, two, three. Alex Hero pulls that out of absolutely nowhere. Great contest between both teams. The Rays having that experience on their side, able to fully capitalize on all opportunities. Dante Ashford and Joshua Lockhart put in an incredible effort. All the same, as if it wasn't for that revolution knee out of the proverbial nowhere that it came from, we might be looking at different no more contenders but right now we move on to our Nets matchup of the evening. Coming to the ring first, he is the sauciest man in wrestling. He is big, saucy. And his first opponent here tonight, he is the Chilean God, Richard Corvo. Que no me da de comer, Ajá. porque qué sería de mí sin un papel. Yeah. Un boli para tatuarle con amor lo que susurra el timonel. Uh. Porque yo vengo de ron a granel, uh. de vender discos a los chumas uh. para poder comprar la aceite a Mariester. Uh. Yo no pienso olvidar el chamaco aquel uh. que rapió en Alamar, la madriguera uh. y hasta en el café de Ariel. Uh. La causa 2 uh. estaba sonando vuelvo well porque en la unión está la fuerza. Uh. ¿Qué sería de Cervantes sin Miguel? Las palabras peligrosas, el uso debe ser prudente. La gente tiene que unirse, ser un poco más consciente. Uh. La solución no va a traer la presidente por el bien de nuestro sitio and the last opponent in this matchup One third of the pit crew, he is 
big out. Matchup now underway, and this action is going to be fast and furious, and possibly even tough to Carl. As right now we have Big Saucy in the matchup, the only man to pin the current Pure Wrestling Champion, Tristan Silva. while he is under a full contract here in MLS Wrestling. That's how he earned his spot in this matchup. Of course, we also have the former champ, Richard Corvo, who has been establishing himself as a contender from the moment he lost it. And then you also have Big Ounce, the longest reigning champion, world champion. Almost the longest reigning ever. As all men competing in this ring, of course, this is possibly the first pure triple threat match we have done. Ways to win this match is it is still Pin, well, still knockout or submission elimination rules, meaning it is the last man standing effort. If Big Ounce is the last man standing, he will move on. Whether he knocks out both of his opponents or just one of them. This is how we devise this, this is what we think is fair. So as this match unravels, we see Big Saucy to the outside. Richard Corvo on the inside, of course. Richard, what has always brought him to this dance and something that, you know, doesn't, isn't necessarily a one trick that he has, but it is such a good trick that he has that I feel like that's always something that we have to mention is his brutal nature, the way he throws his punches, the way he drops an elbow. All of it is done with such a brutal intent that it is what has been his biggest asset in these pure wrestling matches. We've seen guys, you know, who are technical, who are so, like, who are just stronger than other people, but it is just the simple method that he carries himself with that I think is one of his most important qualities in these types of matches. But you also have Big Saucy, who is probably the biggest wild card in pure wrestling. You know, he's only been out here for a week doing this. But it's just more unorthodox in his in his sense of how he conducts a match. He doesn't conduct a match necessarily targeting a limb or, you know, throwing punches in a way that'll knock out his opponent. He throws punches because, you know, he throws punches. He does body slams, not because they're the most effective thing to do, but because he throws body slams. And as we see that these two guys sort of meeting in the ring, you have the two very different natures meeting 
A big ounce about to get involved in this matchup as well. But right now, the battle of the big boys as big ounce taking him down. Big ounce. This might not necessarily be his type of matchup right now. Have to sort of wait and see. Just because of the way he conducts his offense, which made him such an effective world champion, was that he made other people wrestle his style. And in these types of matchups, he doesn't necessarily have that same luxury. Everyone is sort of forced to wrestle in a more similar style to each other than they probably would beforehand. But as this matchup keeps rolling forward, we see, I'd argue, the two fronts still in the ring. As Big Ounce on the outside might just have too much to jump over as we see. Yeah, baby, going down, but... Richard Corvo with the knees up as he was not able to succeed. As now inside the ring, Big Ounce hammering away with some forearms. But right now, Big Saucy hyping himself up. And just laying some of the punches on full display off the ropes jumping into the knee and now grabbing at the head big back elbow there trying to still cement his advantage and Richard might just be too much to handle he looks more ready than ever to go and take back his pure wrestling title. And of course, that history of the title is one that has been dominated by a select few. And Richard Corvo might just be one of the select few here. It's oftentimes a gateway to that world title. But can that gateway stay open long enough? Something we're gonna have to find out shortly as now. Big Saucy in the ring. Jawbreaker on the big ounce. As I remember, it is elimination, so you don't have to worry about breaking up any of these submissions. And yeah, baby from the top rope. That diving splash by Big Saucy now looking to tap out. And what's Corvo has his eyes set. As we got Big Saucy. And it's almost, it's almost fitting if I try to give Richard Corvo a big nickname of his own. But right now, it's just the big brute. Richard Corvo has now big ounce trying to send him to the outside as a well. Getting him up on the top ropes there. Just battering his back down to the mat. Getting him back up on his feet, but no. And a oh, big takedown. There's all three men still alive in this one. As they try to move forward, someone is going to have to be the first one to either submit or be knocked out. And right now, everybody in this matchup is adamantly trying to avoid being that person. But despite the 
potential avoidance. It just has to happen as Big Al sending Saucy into the corner. Fighting out of it is Big Saucy into a backbreaker. And oh, side Russian leg sweep. Just drops the head right down. That might make you have to tap out in some different ways. I don't know if that's necessarily what this match is about, but right now, Saucy sending Ounce into the corner. Corvo still on the outside. Bag Ounce now. Trying to fight back into this matchup. And oh, reverse choke slam. Ref having to check on it, but he seemingly is fine as now. Just the chokes. Into the leg drop. As everybody in this match is truly just a dangerous person to look across the ring from. I don't envy this matchup. Big ounce, big kick to the midsection, but no Saucy taking him away in a big knee lift. Now, Saucy looking to do here with Corvo. With Corvo back up on his feet, taking him down, getting him back up. Sending him up onto the ropes. Does it feel like we're at the point in the match where someone is, we're just going to see everybody drop like flies right off the bat. And Richard Corvo might be the first one as we might see lost in the sauce, but no, not enough to knock him out as you just see Big Saucy immediately go for that bow and arrow stretch to the back of Richard Corvo, but Big Ounce now taking his attention to Big Saucy and just punching the stomach. And now just taking that same arm and just forearming the forehead, trying to bust him open, but no, grabbing him headbutt by Big Ounce up to the feet, Corvo, sending him off the ropes, big back elbow, but no, actually moving out of the way as we have what is essentially a stalemate between these two men. As this matchup continues, Sending him over into the corner. No body slam here. As Corvo looking to deliver that elbow straight to the stomach once again. As everybody back in the match. And you can just see Corvo wrenching away. And as Big Ounce taps out. To that camel clutch. And a big kick to the head. And oh, lost in the sauce. Into that bow and arrow. Trying to capitalize on Richard Corvo as we were down to two men remaining in this matchup. But Richard Corvo just hammering away, showing exactly what is at stake, what he's looking to accomplish, showcasing to everybody who he is. Sending him into the corners is Big Saucy. And now Saucy's still just trying to maintain control at the part of the match that has to be the trickiest right now. You've shown all of your cards, but can your cards continue in control? And it 
it works as Richard Corvo picks up a hard spot victory. Picking up a win over Big Saucy and Big Ounce and punching his ticket to become the next pure wrestling champion as we now get ready for our main event of the evening. Fundamento es nada te satisface, entonces que va a proponer otro hater de internet, de esta letra libre fe, fe a siente el nivel, su esta gente afirme se no por tener más cifras va a ser un ídolo. Tú quieres poner muros como Trump en la frontera de México y en el hip hop. Lo primero el respeto, lo segundo no envidiar. As it is now time for our main event of the evening. Coming to the ring first, she is no ordinary girl, she is Selena Violet. No red lights needed. She is Roxanne Elkins. This matchup now getting underway. Both of these women looking for that trip back to the champion circle. Both women having different roads to get here, of course. Selena Violet actually beat the champion, Tilly Barker. for her opportunity. To get into this matchup, Roxanne on the other hand did not have that same luxury. Instead, losing the title to Tilly last month in which Donovan McNeil was at ringside and could have disrupting a pinfall, making things very difficult. for Roxanne throughout this entire matchup despite all of those things. However, still putting up an incredible fight since that match has sort of been on a mission to go through all of the women's division. Going through the 
latest in the Eve Stokes. I believe just last week, but right now, Selena Violet turning things up a notch in this match. And now kick to the midsection. And going for the pin right off the bat. One, two, but no, just a two count. But now Selena, but no, Roxanne. Getting up. Taking down Selena and now getting into her own pin. One. Still just a one count as both women do not want to waste any time in this matchup here. Just going off the ropes into that big senton by Roxanne. Getting her back up on her feet. Snapmare down to the ground. And just going for that head scissors. Slowing down the pace and just trying to wear down. everything and now Selena Violet getting out of that predicament big punch but no now jumping in Seguri going for the pinfall one two just a two count there as Roxanne looking to for that red lights right off the bat but instead Selena Violet drop goes low trying to take out the legs neither women come up with clear contact as this match continues to unroll here in front of us now. Going off the ropes, Roxanne drops underneath, going for the leg now, but Selena catching it and dropping down once again. With the knee strike off her own, going for a kick, but no caught. Jumping into that Inseguri. And now Selena sending her off the ropes. Trying to look for something, but again caught this time by Roxanne. Reversing back with those kicks, getting her up into that suplex. As Roxanne piecing together her offensive game plan here in that snap mare. And now Roxanne calling red lights, connecting onto Selena. Going down for the pin. That could possibly do it. Two. But just a two count. And when I said this action was fast and furious, I was not kidding. These two women trying to kick each other's heads off sooner than later because they know that they're going to need time to rest. As you can see, Selena trying to get the fans back on her side in this matchup. Getting her Roxanne back up on her feet. Now just rushing through with some clotheslines and that back heel kick. Getting her up on her feet. And dropping low once again, just onto the face of Roxanne and into the pin. One, two, and no, just a two count. And no, going for that knee, Roxanne moves out of the way, getting that separation. Going up and spiking Selena straight on her head with that DDT. As Roxanne going, but no, mid sole kick. But into the corner. Roxanne up, double knees. Into a drop kick. And into the corner with a forearm of her own. And now, alley oop bomb from the seated position. Getting Selena up on her feet, going for a forearm, but no caught. Instead, Irish whip to the outside onto the apron. You can see. Selena trying to go Roxanne back into the ring, but Roxanne, I'm not even sure if she's fully aware of where she is right now. All she knows is that she's holding onto the ropes, getting back inside the ring, and oh, big rolling elbow. 
by Selena. Hit to the midsection, but no. Rolls through is Roxanne, and now calling. Light just turned yellow and red. As that has to be it. Two, three, and Roxanne Elkins picks up a victory over Selena Violet, making sure that she is next in line for Tilly Barker. That's where the line ended and it's where it starts again. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, that'll be it for episode 69. We will see you guys this Saturday for Polish Cow. Until next time, thank you and watch ammo.